The role of the Poet Laureate in North Carolina is to travel the state and to really encourage and invite people to think about their own stories. I love Monique's visual art because I, I see the literacy and I see the language that is so vivid and graphic inside of her collages. When I read her poetry for the first time, I was just like overwhelmed and I was just struck by the beauty of it. And then I just thought, how can we work together on this? Because it's just so powerful and it's so beautiful. For many years as a writer, I have been a little obsessed with the symbolism of white dresses. I did a lot of research looking at white and just really doing a deep dive into whiteness as a landscape and how that bumps up against uh, the black body politic, especially the black female body politic and the female politic at large. And I started thinking about the, the hypocrisy of white and the contradictions of, of, of white symbolism, the white wedding dresses, these requirements of women in white. Our collaboration happened pretty organically. I said, I wanna send you a poem because the more I look at your art, I'm thinking of one particular poem that I think would be really fascinating to see how we could dismantle it, take it apart, and find ourselves inside of each other's work inside of that poem. So I sent her the white dress and she was like, yes, we can do this. So what's really interesting is I've been creating and painting, collaging white dresses for over a decade. She had no idea I had these paintings called white dress and so, and I didn't know she had the poem. And I just, I just, again, like I said, I felt like it was meant to be. So I'm just kind of taking a step and saying, okay, what is this white dress? What does it represent? When we started this project, I didn't anticipate that we would be given all of these dresses. Like that wasn't even part of it. It's just something that organically happened. So taking these dresses, looking at them, and then thinking about how are we gonna transform this into the art? You know, what's the story be behind the dress? Like one of the dresses that we were given has a stain on it and we were talking about it. Like what's the story of the stain? What's behind it? I want it to tell a story. It doesn't have to necessarily be a pretty story, but I want the words to kind of live in the artwork. I'm also pushing myself some boundaries as well with the imagery and the artwork. We're playing with paint on dresses, we're putting Jackie's hands around the dresses, I'm playing with painting on, um, on veils, I'm playing with adding, incorporating more wire and making the, the uh, artwork more three-dimensional and also more performance as well. So Jackie's a natural performer and so she's bringing in this amazing element of performance to the project as well. Sometimes I realize that it's our job as artists to get out of our own way. So the spirit of, of the piece, the spirit of, of the collaboration, can really have this breath and life of its own. We feel very accomplished that we, we started out with a whole lot of ideas and that we have been able to, you know, to focus in and to package a container that people can really see themselves inside of, we hope. And also find their own stories inside of the project.